pre-first contact information, the real truth about spiritual egos. Pre-first contact information update of the highest velocity light. The liberation of the soul, the revealed evolution. Today's decree, we give all awakened lightworkers full grace to deal with the spiritual egos with love. They do not serve any purpose but further isolation and separation as well as attempting to interrupt, confuse, and disturb the process for others as they awaken. All awakened lightworkers are to call them out on their illusions and this is to be done so that we can move forward effortlessly without any further delays in which in recent days and weeks they have tried to do. They wanted to try to control the divine plan, but you cannot troll, control love. And so we must deal with this now, so that grandeur may enter. This is decreed, decreed and granted, and so it is in the kingdom of heaven on earth. Egos, spiritual egos, and any ignorance does not really exist. And so it is on, in heaven as it is on earth and is decreed. Spiritual egos have dressed up so many fantasies as real. They believed them, and any belief is the old paradigm. The new paradigm has no beliefs and no belief systems, only love and truth. Love from the, from the Galactic Federation of Light, the Kingdom Company of Heaven from Galactic Central. We are your Earth allies, here on behalf, as representatives, of your future selves, galactic humans. And we are the ground crew for First Contact. With you present in the physical manifest is us, Mother and Father God, Amun Ra, and we love you unconditionally. A spiritual ego is just the old paradigm of power over, dressed up to look new. Spiritual egos would rather be right than be happy. To be truly happy and enjoy, the ego has to be completely dissolved. We are unconcerned about the spiritual ego's fantasies. True reality eliminates all fantasies. In today's update, we are going to discuss spiritual egos, which are another form of the mind, program mind. And as we have shared, the mind is just an illusion. Along the path of enlightenment, many developed spiritual egos. As the path became too uncomfortable for them, and they began forming fantasies to make it less uncomfortable. Instead of releasing all attachments, they developed new attachments. Just as we have stated, taking an old car and repainting it, then calling it new. This is same as dressing up the outdated old paradigm and saying that it was a new paradigm. All egos require food for survival. Its food is sucking the life force energy out of the being. It does this through illusions, fantasies, and anything except true reality. Spiritual egos gather together so they each can feed off each other. Thus, they begin validating within themselves, and then they come up with more fantasies to feed the lies, refer to dog chasing its tail syndrome. This greatly has stalled their progress, and to all those who are currently awakening, they are dangerous. We use the word dangerous because they believe their own lies, and can easily convince those coming up into their own power that the lie they, share, they are sharing is the truth. It can speak of half-truths, but it can never speak of the whole truth. Because to speak the whole truth, you have to live and be the truth. Which is love in action? Another requirement is feelings. An ego does not have any feelings. And only through feelings does one gain understanding. Through understanding, one has experience. 
Through experience, one gains wisdom. Wisdom to be and share the truth. Since spiritual egos cannot have feelings, they really have no clue about truth, and it will always find something incorrect with the whole truth. Because it, ego, has limits, edges, and boundaries. Limits, edges, and boundaries is something that real love does not have. Love is limitless, edgeless, and has no boundaries. Spiritual egos approach life with their intellect, which is the left side of the brain, instead of the heart, which is the holistic brain, which is the right and left side together, the divine connection. True reality does not align with any fantasy. True reality has no fantasy. It takes letting go of all illusions to embrace true reality. We can say that the spiritual ego is all talk with incorrect and misaligned actions that go along with it that have absolutely nothing to do with real reality. It can write down some truths. It can even speak some truths and pretend that it has some clue about the truth. But all it really does is attempt to interweave truth into its fantasies and then present it as the truth. When it is questioned, it will react in a fight or flight way, while love, when questioned, will respond with truth. Since the ego mind does not really exist, it is just a construct of belief systems, it cannot really understand real love and real truth. Being real and living the real and whole truth is when your true being is fully manifested into this realm and only occurs when the ego, spiritual ego, has dissolved. For so many of you, the spiritual ego is holding the true being inside captive. This must be released for you to move forward, or you will continue being stuck, going in circles, which takes you nowhere. Spiritual egos look at love and truth as a threat, because the real truth challenges their fantasies. And without their fantasies, they have to face the truth about the lies they told themselves. Spiritual egos cannot see the forest for the trees. The reason is because they have a whole lot of fantasies about the trees. They want to be in control of creation. All the while, creation cannot be controlled. We share with you that the spiritual ego is very subtle. It can easily create the illusion of helping just to support its own fantasies and illusions. It supports the old paradigm of power over. It plays a victim, villain role, and becomes like a bully to the ones sharing the real truth. You cannot respect spiritual egos because they do not even respect the real truth and the real love. It does not even respect itself because those within it would rather live a lie than live the truth. Respect comes from love and truth only. You cannot respect a lie. Many of the spiritual egos would rather have us walk around on eggshells and tiptoe around them. Well, our responsibility, however, as beings of light and of truth and love, is that we are addressing this and confronting it and pointing out these fantasies. By doing this, we are serving love, serving the truth of who we really are, and assisting the planet in moving forward into all love is and the 5D frequencies. We do not serve illusions, we do not serve fantasies, nor do we serve ignorance. And transmission in all love is unconditionally Love, the Earth Allies.